Hi friends, in this video let's see about FACS fluorescence activated cell sorting. This is a flow cytometry technique. So first we need to understand about flow cytometry to understand FACS clearly. I have already uploaded a detailed video on flow cytometry. Link is in the description. Now let's move on to FACS. From the name itself we can understand its mechanism. Sorting means separation. What does it separate? It separates cells. How sorting is taking place based on fluorescence? That is, it separates the cells based on the fluorescence emitted by it. From this image, we can see the sample has a mixture of components, each with different colors, that is, emitting different fluorescence. It flows one by one according to flow cytometry mechanism. Once laser falls on the cells, fluorescence is emitted and cells are separated based on its different colors. That is different fluorescence. Let's see in detail. First step in FACS is sample preparation. Unlike flow cytometry in which sample is directly used, here in FACS we are separating the cells based on fluorescence. So we need to prepare the sample. It is not necessary that all the cells emit fluorescence. So we will be adding fluorochrome to the cells which helps in emitting fluorescence. Another method is adding antibodies conjugated with fluorescent dyes which binds with specific antigens in the cells of our interest. Once laser falls on the cells, fluorescent materials gets excited and then it emits fluorescence. This is the sample preparation method. We should do the sample preparation because for example if I have two types of cells A and B, I want to separate them. I will select a fluorochrome which will bind only to A and won't bind with B. I will be selecting another different fluorochrome which binds only to B and not with A. Now what happens is that when we add this mixture to the FACS, A and B cells emit different fluorescence and it is recorded using detector and it will be separated. We will see in detail about this separation. The major mechanism of FACS is this separation. First few steps are similar to that of the flow cytometry. Cells will be moving one by one due to hydrodynamic focusing. When laser falls on the cells, the analysis takes place. That is, based on forward scattering, we can study the size of the cells and based on side scattering, we can study the complexity of the cells. Here, a third parameter is included, that is fluorescence. As we have attached the fluorochrome to the cells, we will be also studying the different, different fluorescence that is emitted by different cells. Till now, it's more or less similar to that of the flow cytometry. Next few steps are new which is used for the separation of cells. The details of the cells based on the scattering and fluorescence is recorded by the detector and is used for separation. After the cells pass through the lasers, cells moving in a flow due to hydrodynamic focusing reaches a stage called a drop formation. There will be a vibration mechanism which makes the cells to get released in drop wise manner that is cells are moving in the sheet fluid, this cells will be released in a drop wise manner. One drop contains only one cell after being released in the stage. There will be an electric charging ring next to the drop formation. Before the drop enters the electric charging, electric charging rings, the signals recorded by the detector will be used to provide specific charge to each type of cell. For example, if we have, program, if we have programmed as such that large cells with green fluorescence should be charged positively and small sized cells emitting black fluorescence should be charged negatively. So at this point after drop formation what happens is that when the cells are released as drops gets charged according to the program and it enters the electric charging ring. For example if a large sized cells and it is emitting a green fluorescence it is entering the drop formation and is released as a drop into the electric charging rings it gets positively charged in the electric charging ring there are two electrodes as deflector plates as shown in the image one will be positively charged and another will be negatively charged so when the charged cells passes through these deflector plates positively charged cells gets attracted by the negative deflector plates and are collected in a container Whereas a negatively charged cells by attraction to the positive deflector plates. This is uh, collected in another different container. So thus molecules are separated based on size and fluorescence emitted. 
simply we can say that a mixture of cell passes one by one due to hydrodynamic focusing it is analyzed based on the scattering and fluorescence properties this data is recorded by the detector the cells passes down and due to vibration mechanism the cells are released in a drop wise manner based on its scattering and fluorescence properties different cells gets charged differently this can be programmed then it enters the electric charging ring which deflector plates attract oppositely charged cells and collect it separately this is the mechanism of fcs so in this video we have seen about fcs that is fluorescence activated cell sorting its important points sample preparation and working mechanism if you like this video like comment share and subscribe and do follow the instagram page of think biology think vision bye